Another fantastic variation of a deadlift is a straight leg deadlift. Now this is going to be putting the most amount of tension through the hamstrings, but it's also going to be creating the most amount of tension in that low back. So what do we need to make sure we're doing? We need to make sure we're bracing that core. We need to make sure that we're engaging the hips, making sure that the glutes are firing to stabilize that pelvis. The last thing we want to see is as I come down, starting to break. We do not want that, so it's got to be slow and controlled. Now you're still going to be pulling off the conventional deadlift to lift the bar off the ground. So, feet are hip width apart, I create that tension, the bar is right against my shin. Again, we want to make sure we're engaging those lats. It's still a deadlift, which means my back is doing a lot of the work. I come down, my chest is up, push the ground away. Now I'm in position to begin my straight leg deadlift. It's just like the hinge movement that you can see in the previous video. I'm going to take my deep breath in, compact my abs down, my feet are grabbing, I have my tripod stance, big toe, baby toe and heel. Push that thumb back, create tension through the hamstrings. It does not have to touch the ground. I'm going to push the ground away by squeezing my bum and bringing my chest back up. The last thing I want to see is this. This is not a straight leg deadlift. I want that bum coming back, feel the tension through the hamstrings, keeping that bar nice and close, my lats are engaged, come back up.